Yay! Woohoo! I won! I won, Kitty! How, oh, Doctor? How did you read so fast? <laughs> it's simple. The Pythagoras theorem helped me to get the fastest way home from the market. Pythag what? <laughs> the Pythagoras theorem, Kitty. Hey, friends, we often hear people asking if math formulas could be applied in the real world. So, in today's episode, let us explore the formula which can be used in many circumstances and learn how to solve the Pythagoras Theorem. Zoom in! So, what is the Pythagoras Theorem? Let us begin from the beginning. The Pythagoras Theorem is said to get its name from a Greek mathematician and philosopher, Pythagoras of Samos, who is believed to be a pioneer of this theorem. But that's not true, as he is not the actual founder of this theorem, but was one of the Pythagorean clan members who devoted their lives to the subject and never revealed who its real founder was. However, in reality, this theorem existed even before Pythagoras and was useful even then. Whereas, Pythagoras only gave us the proof of this existing right-angled triangle theory. Yes, the traces of Pythagoras' theorem could be found in the construction of ancient Babylonians, which existed even thousand years before Pythagoras. Not only that, but it marks its presence in ancient India as well, which is believed to have a rich culture of mathematics. The mathematical miracle was also used in Egyptian constructions, where they used Pythagoras' theorem to build the pyramid and other structures. But the crucial question is, what does the Pythagoras' theorem actually say? The Pythagoras' theorem says, that the square on the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is equal in area to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. This theorem can be written as an equation relating the lengths of the sides A, B and C, often called the Pythagorean equation, that is denoted with the formula. A square plus B square is equal to C square. Confused? No worries. Let us look at each of its terms with the help of an example. But before we start with our example, we need to learn a few terms first, which are essential to understand. Now, visualize a right-angled triangle which has A, B and C sides. In this diagram, A and B are the legs of this triangle and the side opposite to the right-angled triangle, which is C, is called the hypotenuse and is the longest side of the triangle. Moving further to our example, imagine a cat stuck on the surface of a wall screaming for help. And the only way to save the cat is by climbing over the wall. So, you look around and find a few ladders lying beside. But you have less time in hand and the cat is hanging between life and fall. So we need to choose the correct sized ladder as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you remember the Pythagoras theorem that says A square plus B square equals C square. So let us assume the wall as A the surface of land as B and the ladder you need to find as C, which is also your hypotenuse. Then you quickly take out the measurement tape and measure the length of the wall that comes to 3 meters. 
Then you measure the surface of the land that comes down to 4 meters. Now, as A equals 3 meters and B equals 4 meters, then we know C will be equal to the sum of the square of the length of the other two sides. And to prove that, you need to substitute these values into the formula, which is a square plus b square equals c square, which will also give you the correct size of the ladder. Hence, proving this theorem. Now, as you have the value of a and b, you are required to find their square to move further. So, the first thing you do is substitute a as 3 and b as 4. And the values you get after substitution are 9 and 16 respectively, which are their squares. Then you put these square values into the formula, which adds up to 25 square meters, which is the value of c square. But let me tell you that this is not the end because the ladder size could never be in square meters as the other two sides are in meters. So our next task is to convert this C square into C and its value square meter into meters. And to do so, we apply square root on both sides which converts C square into C and 25 square meters into 5 meters. And hence the value of the hypotenuse and the correct size of the required ladder is 5 meters. And along with that, two things happen here. One is you prove the formula right as that the square on the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle which is C square whose value is 25 square meters is equal in area to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, which are a square and b square. That is, 9 plus 16 is also 25. And the second thing we found is the correct size of the ladder, which is 5 meters. And hence, you can save the cute little kitty cat easily. Trivia time! Did you know the Pythagorean Society later progressed as the main scientific school of Greece? Also, Pythagoreans think that animals have the same rights to live as mankind. Hence, they held the prohibition of eating animals. Hmm, so kind of them. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.